Did you know that you can balance your hormones, remove excess toxins from your body, achieve natural weight loss, and also build a strong immune system by building yourself a healthy gut microbiome? And this is exactly what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. Hi, it's Paul Tarth here, nutritionist and lifestyle coach of Raw Some Healthy, helping you achieve a healthy body, healthy hormones, and the life of your dreams naturally. Now, just before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell notification to stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, in today's video, I'm going to talk about what is called your gut microbiome and how you can make it really work well for your hormones and overall health. But first off, what is your gut microbiome exactly? Well, simply put, it's a collection of microbes which include viruses, fungi, and bacteria that all exist in your gut and help you stay healthy. Now, in truth, many people don't even know that their gut microbiome is closely linked to their health, including their hormonal health, their weight, their immune system, and even their brain health. Yes, you'll get it super important for your overall health as more and more studies are now showing us. So if you have a poor diet that's lacking in real whole plant foods, for example, and it's full of high fat foods and animal foods, then this will really have a negative impact upon your microbiome and so your gut health and overall health. For example, if you have a diet that's low in fiber and you suffer with constipation or the food you eat passes through your gut too slowly, which is called a slow transit time, then this can set the stage for ill health and even disease. Excess estrogen, for example, that should be flushed out of your body can be reabsorbed due to constipation and a slow transit time, as I just said. And then this can cause what is called estrogen dominance, which is when you have too much estrogen in your body. This imbalance or too much estrogen has been linked to various forms of cancer like breast cancer, ovarian cancer, endometrial cancer, and may even put you at higher risk of suffering from things like blood clots and also strokes. Now I have a question for you. Are you currently suffering from gut problems yourself? And if so, what if anything have you done to try and resolve it? And please leave your comments in the comments section below. So let me give you an example of how eating just one plant foods meal can dramatically affect your health. Yes, just one meal. Researchers compared a vegan meal consisting of a veggie burger to a beef cheeseburger meal on hormonal levels in a group of 20 people who had obesity, 20 who were diabetic, type 2 diabetic, and 20 who were healthy. The meals contained the same amount of calories and ratio of macronutrients, so we're talking fats, proteins, and carbs. Across all three groups, the vegan meal increased beneficial gastrointestinal hormones compared with the non-vegan meal. These hormones are involved in the regulation of things like glucose metabolism, insulin secretion, energy homeostasis, satiety, and weight management. So this study showed us that eating just a single plant foods meal, a single plant foods meal had a dramatic effect and positive effects on people's gut health, their metabolism, and effectively allowing their body to be much healthier. Now let's imagine you did this for every meal that you ate over the course of the day, leading into weeks, months, and even years. You dropped the hormone imbalance in animal foods or highly processed foods, and you ate a low-fat, whole plant foods diet, so you allowed your gut microbiome to have more diversity as eating a high-fat diet can lower the amount of your friendly gut bacteria as well. What do you think would happen? Well, studies as the one I've just mentioned show how greatly beneficial whole plant foods are in your diet and the many people that we have personally worked with over the years who we have coached on eating a low-fat, high-carbohydrate whole plant foods plan would tell you they typically feel much more energy, they feel lighter in themselves and start losing weight, they feel brighter in their mood, they notice how their skin looks healthier, and they notice how their hormones begin balancing themselves with no more hot flashes, headaches, or bad PMS symptoms, for example. They have less stiff or no more painful and aching joints. And we even had one lady who tested herself before she started eating this way and found that she had a high level of precancerous cells in her cervix. Well, after four weeks of working with us and eating a high carbohydrate, low fat, raw food, or high raw food diet, she found that she lowered that level of precancerous cells to a very low level. So as you can see, changing your menu plan to a whole plant foods one that is lower in fat and has plenty of fresh raw foods in it can have a dramatically positive effect upon not just the health of your hormones, your weight and your energy levels and mood, but also disease prevention as well. So if you're wondering, great, but how do I change my eating plan to one that is a health promoting, low fat, high carb, whole plant foods one that I've talked about in this video today? 
then I would like to invite you to our free online masterclass where you can learn the five steps that our clients use to balance their hormones naturally, lose between 10 and 50 pounds of excess weight without carbohydrate restriction and achieve the body of their dreams. So the link for that is www.rawsomehealthy.com forward slash webinar. Thank you for watching this video and I'm going to link this video to another video which is going to show exactly how to eat a whole foods, low fat, high carbohydrate diet with lots of raw foods in it.